What's up everybody, Patina Pete, and we are gonna do a short little yard walk here, show you what we got going on in the yard. Got this really, really nice 48 Ford F1 out of Montana. This one is rock solid, has a little bit of rust in the floor pan, just like a little bit in the one corner. Original bedwoods in it, will need replaced, but just a really nice black patina truck. Good title on it, missing a seat, we're gonna put a seat in it. This one's gonna be a real quick turnaround. I just gotta get it in the shop, get it pressure washed, get a seat tossed in it, and that's it. Title's here, title's good to go. That truck's gonna be 8,500 bucks with title. This one here, this is a, I think a 51, 52 Chevy 3600. It is missing the hood. It does have some uh, kind of unsavory rust going on, but it's got a really, really awesome patina look to it. I gotta get this one cleaned out processed yet. It will uh, roll and steer at a minimum. I don't believe it's gonna run. It's really neat. It's got like an Impala uh, steering wheel for some reason. I don't know, maybe it's Bel Air. I think it might be Bel Air. And then it has, um, I'm taking these off and I'm, they will not be for sale. It has these really trick, I assume these were nickel plated, it's just a valve cover hold down. They're just kind of hot roddy. I've never ever seen one. I've owned hundreds of these Chevy six cylinders on cars and trucks and even nice stuff out west. Like in the low rider communities, I pay attention to that stuff and never seen an aftermarket hold down like that. So I'm gonna take those and put those in my little personal collection. Cause I'm a big fan of the Chevy six cylinder platform. But this truck here, we're pretty much gonna sell it as is. What we're gonna do to it, it's not gonna add much value. We're gonna make it roll and steer. I'm out of hoods for these, unfortunately. When we go out west in the next couple of weeks, I gonna try and find one if it doesn't sell this truck here is 5500 bucks as is this one here half ton short bed this is gonna be a solid side window for a 49 or 50 i believe it's a 50 3100 solid floors we'll get some headlights and headlight rings and stuff in it but uh overall nice complete half ton short bed chevy ad truck 6500 on this one which is a really good deal 46, well, 41 to 46 Chevy cab over here. We haven't got into this one yet. Got title on it. That reminds me, I don't have it in hand yet. The shipper has this title. I gotta get that off of him. Uh, really neat truck. Never had one of these before. Really excited to have one, especially in this kind of shape. This truck came out of Montana. Really nice, solid cab corner, solid doors, that kind of thing. This one's not gonna require much. I believe the motor's in this one. Yep, motor's in it. Maybe it'll run, maybe it won't. Not sure. We're going to get this in in the next couple weeks here. We're just trying to get caught up. Same thing with the Diamond T next to it. Uh, really rare. This is a 1940 Diamond T cab over. We're working with the guys in the uh, Facebook group trying to figure out as much about, about this truck as we can. It has a very, very early serial number, so we're just trying to, trying to figure out what it did in its life, where it was at, if the roof was original. The wood inside looks original. It has like an all aluminum patch on the roof that uh, looks like it's replacing canvas. We're trying to figure out if that may have been factory, like a canvas roof. And then at some point they you know, said, now we're just gonna make it metal. 49 Ford F6. This motor I believe turns, but it does not run. 9,500 bucks or make me an offer on this one. Good title on it. Nice Western truck here. Here we got the 53 GMC 250 model. It's gonna be a one ton long box, 248 six cylinder, really nice complete truck. Uh, really hard to find trucks. So look how long the running boards are. Look how long the gravel shields are. A lot of unique things going on here. I left the wood on it in case somebody wanted to put their business name on it, park this thing on the side of the road as an advertisement. Really hard to find truck anyway. Motor is stuck in this one. I think we filled it up with our special concoction when I bought it a couple months ago. Who knows, it might turn now. We're at 6,500 on this one, which is already a loss for us. If you're interested, let me know, we'll make you a deal. Um, there's a special deal on the table for anybody that's a big player. Diamond T, 54 GMC, the yellow truck, and that 3,100 down there we talked about. 6,500 a piece individually, six grand a piece, so 24,000 you take all four. So 6500 on the 54 GMC if you want to buy itself, which is crazy cheap. I don't know why this one won't sell. This one might go into the warehouse with the other one over there. Uh, half ton short bed, one and a half year only truck, solid front windshield, flat bed rails, one and a half year tailgate, incredibly rare 54 GMC half ton short box. It's a 100 series, it's not a long bed. I can't, uh, this may have, I think this is one of two or three I've ever owned. And this is me looking at trucks every single day, buying most of anything decent I find. 6,500 bucks. 
I really thought this one would have been gone at 85. So uh, maybe it's a sign it's got to stay with me, but super solid truck as well. Good title on it. 41 Diamond T 201. Used to be a pickup truck, was converted to a flatbed at some point. 90, 90 to 95% complete. 6,500 bucks on that one. Cool truck. Really, really cool. Truck. Got the flying 56 210, you know, post car 210, two door sedan. Got a couple B's in there, I guess. They're trapped in there when I took it down to Columbus this weekend. Decently solid car, has some floor patches, has some rust repair on the outside, would make a great drag car or restore it or do a patina car. Nice aluminum wheels on it, got a good title on it off the frame bin. 10,500 bucks on this one, and that is the famous car from Salina, Ohio, that was up on the side pole. This cab over here is more of a parts truck than anything. I believe I do have a title on it. Uh, 3,500 bucks on this one, as you see it missing the hood. I probably have a front grill I give you. Metros we didn't get to yet. So really, really cool international metros. I believe these are both like mid 50s models. This one here is the one that might run and drive. Six cylinders in it and it's totally complete. Came out of Kansas, pretty solid truck. It's got a little rear quarter damage here that Clay's gonna fix up. Got really awesome patina. This guy was an underwater salvage diver, uh, welder. I guess he had an air compressor mounted out here. There's still a big gas uh, Miller welder on the inside of this one, which is pretty cool. But what I look for in a Metro is completeness and perfect grill and grill bars because this these are really hard to get. I was selling these grill bars for like 150 bucks a bar. So just getting a complete grill, complete letters. This is pretty neat here. That lifts up to a help remove the grill and show your radiator fill this emblem's hard to get oh, this whole this piece and all the grill bars and the grill are real hard to get so both of these were complete in that aspect uh, show you the welder that's in here this guy had like a pretty trick little deal here he's got these really cool uh, mermaids painted on the sides of these things he's got the little glass shifter knob just neat trucks I think it, what on chain on one of these says it, it says like I'd rather be underwater or something it says on that one. So this one here is a Metro Mite. This is a real little one here. Uh, this one's pretty decent shape on the inside. Got a little rust on the outside. I think there's a whole extra motor with this one. This one here, the head's off of the motor. This one's definitely not gonna run and drive, but these are real popular for people doing food trucks, coffee shops, merch shops, all on wheels, that kind of thing. Business advertising, that kind of deal. I've seen quite a few of those dropped over the chassis, laying low on the ground too with LS swaps and whatnot. There's a guy in Texas that's done quite a few of them. So, 52 Ford F1, half ton short bed, not a whole lot of patina. Hood doesn't match, it's the hood I had, but it's a pretty solid truck from out west. Good title on it, six grand on that one, which is a really good deal. Uh, the Avion Truck Camper we listed today. Uh, it may get better. I figured I'd just get it out there for now. We may go ahead and go inside and clean it out if we have time. We're just really behind right now with all the other projects we got going on. So we're asking 7,500 bucks on this. It's got this really nice jack stable lift here. This not only gets the, the camper on and off the truck and stays with the camper while it's on the truck. You drive over the lift here. You back over that, get your truck under there, set it, set it right on there. But where this thing really comes in handy is when you're let, I don't have a battery in there right now, is leveling it when you get it off your truck. So you go to your campground, right? Now you want to go have dinner or whatever, you got to go to the store. You can get this thing perfectly level, which is important with a camper for the water system so you don't roll out of your bed. So your dishes and cups and whatever don't roll around a camper. You got to get level and it's extremely solid. This thing doesn't rock and, and get all goofy like it would if you had individual jack legs since this thing's on its own cradle making contact with the ground. So. They said they paid three grand for this jack system. So I can tell you it made loading it and unloading it real easy. The 67 Fastback Seacoat car, 289, two barrel, very rusty. Don't know when we're gonna get to this. I put it on the back burner because there's always a million people that want a Fastback Mustang. So if you want it as is, I'll give you enough interior parts to put an interior in it. I'm not gonna put the interior in it. 20 grand will buy this one. Got a good title on it. 59 GMC 100 half ton short bed 276 cylinder runs and drives that truck there 7500 bucks needs cab corners lower front fenders but it's a true half ton short bed GMC 
It's a harder truck to find in a short bed. The uh, S10 frame truck. We're getting to this. This truck's actually really good. I mean, look at the bottoms of the doors. And this truck is solid. I like this Kenworth heater box that they have in there. It's pretty neat. This one here, we just got to throw it together. Clay's excited about this one. He built one of these trucks, so we're excited to go ahead and get it on the frame, get all the panels hung on it, that kind of thing. So, again, on the back burner, give us something to do when we get slow here. Got our excavator all dolled up. That took a while. That needed some much, much needed love. It still does. After much deliberation and no interest for whatever reason, maybe I'm I appreciate it more than other people because I specifically hunt down every morning when I get up, every day when I eat lunch, every night when I go sit down. I'm looking for 55 to 59 GMC big window trucks. They sell. Why this one isn't? I don't know. I have a buddy of mine coming into Pittsburgh this week who is the GMC guru. He's bringing me the correct front end parts for that, so we'll have that one looking nice as well we got scrap here if anybody wants these fleet side these are long bed 60 to 66 bed sides honestly i'm keeping the bed cross members and that header panel but these are kind of beat up i might just they're like wall hanger i might throw them in the scrap pile or have somebody paint iron city garage on them so uh, 100 bucks a piece if somebody wants them ah we're out of stuff to talk about we'll be going over some of the other stuff we have for sale so i bought a ton of signs lately we got gas pumps to talk about um, we're going to be launching a subscriber platform thing here soon. Me and Shane are working on that. Uh, so basically what the subscriber platform is going to do for you and me um, is it's going to give you guys who subscribe first access to everything we have for sale and what we're doing. So basically regular content will be on about a 24 hour delay. And if you want to know what's going on first because you're a buyer of this stuff that I'm selling and uh, maybe you're a flipper, or maybe you just want access to the best stuff first, you'll pay a monthly fee, a small monthly fee. You'll have access to that stuff first. So you'll never miss a deal and you'll always know where we're at, what we're doing. So if I'm out somewhere picking something awesome and you want to know about a, spe a specific thing that you know I'm there right then with, you can have, you'll have access to me because you'll know what I'm doing because you're a subscriber. So keep an eye out for that. Uh, we're working on all the social media stuff right now, trying to ramp that stuff up while we're a little bit slow around here, waiting on stuff to get through the shop. Working on that new merch order as well. Working on our travel schedule. We might be going to California next week. I don't know. So keep an eye on us. Like, share, subscribe. So many things I got to ask you people to do. But we appreciate it. Drop a comment for sure. That helps us out a lot. Thanks for watching the videos. We'll see you on the next one. If you got anything for sale, hit me up. 412-335-6100. Iron City Garage at Gmail.